Hi, we are RTV New York. Welcome to People. Today we have an artist, Edward Harris, with us. Hi, Edward. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. You travel to New York a lot, right? I do. Yeah. So、um, you travel like once a month, and yeah, about from Baltimore, right? From Baltimore.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, how do you like New York? Uh, I I love New York.、Mm -hmm. I've, I've been coming here for a long time for various reasons. I have a lot of friends here.、Um, sort of feels like a second home. I'm very lucky to have friends who share their places with me that I stay with in Brooklyn.、Um, so I've gotten to know the city, the city over、um, time period of fifteen twenty years, something like that.、Um, and yeah, I hope to spend more and more time here. Yeah. So how do you think the difference? Between New York or Baltimore?、Um, but, well, I mean, obviously they're both cities, but Baltimore has much more of a small town、mm -hmm. kind of feeling.、Um, Baltimore is the type of place where you walk by a, you know, the store or something, and your friend, you see him in the window, and they knock on the glass, or you run into people that you know kind of everywhere. So it's, it's a very small town、uh, kind of atmosphere.、Um, so that it's really nice to have that. It's a little more. It's a little quieter. Um, but you know you can't beat the sort of pace and energy of, of New York City, and the sort of、uh, sort of ambitious feeling you get from everybody around、mm -hmm. you.、Uh, yeah. And of course, there's just so much culture here and art and music, you know, etc. Yeah, and I know actually you learn、uh, music at school, and、uh, actually you are a musician, and you are still、uh, doing some music now. And、yeah. uh, how did you start? Uh, to do arts like visual arts, like the paintings, sculptures. Right.、Um, well, art is something I've been doing since probably since like the moment I was born,、mm -hmm. really, because、um, my father was an artist who was practicing artist, was art professor.、Mm -hmm. He was working in all mediums: painting, drawing, printmaking, photography, sculpture, everything. He was teaching in, in pretty much all those mediums too.、Mm -hmm. My mom was doing ceramics, and, and so、mm -hmm. in my basement, she was she had a potter's wheel and two kilns,、mm. and was always making ceramics. And so I grew up in this environment where、uh, it was a very sort of you know free sort of creative environment. That way, I wasn't taught a lot of sort of、um, rules. I thought,、mm -hmm. even, even though my father was a professor, he really let our art, art education be us discovering who we were, you know, in ourselves.、Um, so, I, so I sort of always had that you know element. Um, mm -hmm. as, as part of me, and was doing a lot of visual work as you know a, a child up through adolescence. But、uh, I got very interested in music when I was older, and went to music school, and then ended up joining a band that was became you know most of my life for my nineteen twenty you know my twenties. And around the time I was in my late twenties, early thirties, I started doing a series of drawings and paintings、mm -hmm. that have evolved into what I'm doing now. And that's I really look at that as the time period when my art sort of career、mm -hmm. began. So, do you think the music and the painting or sculptures are conflict, or the music background helps you a lot? I, well, it helps in the sense that it, it,、mm -hmm. I think it's a part of the way that I work. At first, I saw when I first started working, I saw them as almost like two totally different things, and then I started、mm -hmm. to realize that I was bringing a lot of the same sort of、uh, instincts into my drawing and painting. That I was,、um, and later on my sculpture,、um, that that I、uh, had in music. I mean, I was with music.、Uh, I spent a lot of time with improvisation, certainly when I was younger,、mm -hmm. and my artwork is is also very based in improvisation.、Um, that's not really the term that's used in art speak, but so I I, I think that that element is there, and, the, and there's sort of a, a sort of you know a responding sort of an instant responding to. Those instincts or gestures,、mm -hmm. or for me, it it almost feels like a language. That that's part of it as well. And both of those, that sort of relationship, exists in my head for both music and and art. Yeah. So,、um, what's your style for the painting? Or、uh, like, can you talk about some like your art creation process? And I really like the one of your paintings. It's called、uh, White Flowers. So can you talk a little bit about it? The process,、um, like I said, you know, is very much sort of starts with a, a, a sort of a gestural、mm -hmm. moment 
which again I feel like is sort of almost an internal vocabulary mm -hmm. that I uh, spontaneously sort of choose from this bit of sort of unconscious conscious play um, to back up a second you asked sort of what what style I consider my artwork and I you know I, I've sort of I've thought about that over the years because I don't think I really fit neatly into anything but probably at the end of the day I kind of would say I'm an abstract expressionist mm -hmm. on some level. It, it's mm -hmm. sort of, that's sort of like a very basic mm -hmm. thing. Um, but I, you know, I def, I'm definitely an expression expressionist. I think it comes mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, an, an emotional place. But there's there's a place there's a thought process involved in it too. And like like the painting that you're talking mm -hmm. about, there's not only is there sort of the, the the gestural moments that often start in sort of a center point and and radiate outwards, mm -hmm. which is when you think of a flower. Mm -hmm. That's sort of how that works. But there's also a thought process that responds to that in terms of uh, how I develop the, the negative spaces, mm -hmm. the filling in the white, and, the, and you'll see the little black marks. Yeah. Um, there's, and it's, it's sort of, a, you know, there's sort of a logic or a pattern to that mm -hmm. in certain ways. Um, so, I, you know, I, I think that there's both of those elements kind of involved in that. And, that's, and that, that process is sort of, you know, I, I, I have different sort of versions of that, like the white flowers painting is one, then I have other, other uh, types of paintings that are more um, uh, sort of, the sort of more direct energy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so music and painting, which do you like enjoy more so far? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> it, I mean, I think it's good that I have both because it feels, when you sort of go away from one, you sort of crave mm -hmm. the other. You know, when, when I first started doing that, probably I don't know, ten years ago or something, it, it felt like, um, you know, should I be doing music and art? You know, mm -hmm. can I split? My, but what I find is that in, in today's age, where people, where everything's moving so fast, and people are doing everything online and, and, and through internet and smartphones, mm -hmm. etc., whatever, uh, that there's a lot of people who are sort of taking on multifaceted lives like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, in Baltimore, where I'm from, there's a lot of people who do both music and art. Mm -hmm. So I, I, think it's, I think it's very complimentary. But you know, I think I, I, there's, there's something about you know, playing music for people that's so instantaneously mm -hmm. gratifying in a way that I could never um, you know, compare to anything else. But at the same time, there's something so sort of personal and intimate about, you know, creating artwork uh, for me that is also very nice. So I think they, they fulfill different roles. Yeah, like you have been to China, you stayed there for two months in Beijing last year, and you traveled to Canada, Europe, and, and other Asia places like Japan. So yeah. you, you like traveling, right? I do, I love traveling. Mm -hmm. So what does traveling uh, inspire you? Definitely, well I mean, yeah. one thing I've done is I've done several art residencies. Um, a couple in Vermont Studio Center, that's in the United States, which is where I met my friend um, Tzu Tse Che, who's, mm -hmm. I met a lot of, most of the people I know in the Chinese art world sort of came from my relationship with him. I met uh, you know, Mr. Sun mm -hmm. and Mr. Chang. But yeah, I also did an artist residency uh, in the Netherlands for mm -hmm. two months, and okay. that was much sort of more sort of monastic and mm -hmm. you know, very isolated. Uh, which was also a nice experience in its own way. And, and about my, my trips to mm -hmm. China, I was actually there for two, two weeks mm -hmm. um, okay. mm -hmm. in Beijing mm -hmm. in, in November. But uh, that was very, I mean, that was the first time I really got to absorb the culture in the way of actually living it. I stayed with the family, mm -hmm. got to eat with them every night, got to, you know, really, really got to live the, the, the culture in a way that I had and, and, and go out and see the different art exhibits that mm -hmm. people were having there and, and visit studios and so on and so forth. And, all of those are just very enriching experiences, and you, you don't necessarily know how that's influencing you right in, in the moment. But there's no way that that doesn't factor into how I produce, you know, my art or my music or anything else. Yeah. So, um, any future exhibitions or traveling plans for the new year 2016? Uh, yeah, well, I'm definitely going to Europe in early March, and that's mm -hmm. music related. So, what city in Europe? Um, I'm going to, well, I, I'm just going to be in Prague and uh, London and 
Switzerland and Bonn. I have to look mm -hmm. closely, but I'm okay. actually, I, yeah. I work with a group that I, I also work in the music business and I manage some groups. So I'll be there and then hopefully to Beijing again and then who, who knows what else. I'm, yeah. Always something coming up. So any exhibitions in the future? Are you planning any exhibitions? Yeah, I don't, I don't have any, uh, I don't have a direct date to give you, but mm -hmm. definitely have a New York exhibition probably within the next uh, some, sometime this year, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and, so, and something in Baltimore as well. Okay, so you're doing music and arts so far, so kind of multi background or versatile. Uh, so I know your father is an art professor. So are you interested in being a professor in the future? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I've, I, I actually I used to teach guitar lessons, mm -hmm. uh, and that was rewarding in some ways. But I, I don't, you know, I don't know if that's the right calling for me. And I, was, I, I think I talked a little bit about this before. But you know, mm -hmm. the my father, the, even though he's, he was excellent art teacher and very good at you know teaching in a classroom setting, mm -hmm. but the way that that we were taught, you know, in, in my family from him was. Uh, very open and mm -hmm. and really let us sort of develop uh, who we are on mm -hmm. our own with just you know a, a, I think a really good art teacher is, is mm -hmm. good at doing that they let they let the person draw from themselves yeah. as much as possible and then they can sort of like give you little pointers and things mm -hmm. like that along the way I don't feel I feel like to be in an institutionalized setting it requires uh, you know very sort of Qualitative mm -hmm. um, skills yeah. that um, that I you know that I may that I may seek out at some point, but that I'm not particularly interested in exploring at the moment. And I think that to be a professor and that to, you know, but it depends. I you know, I, that's I'm sort of thinking in a very traditional type of art school setting. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of people who are pushing for the. I just did an interview with a woman from Johns Hopkins University who. Mm -hmm. who who is looking to sort of reform the art education process. And if there was mm -hmm. some way that I could be involved uh, in that way, um, I would love to. But I think that the way that I, wake my, I make my work is so sort of personal mm -hmm. and individual to me that that isn't necessarily something I would be able to, to convey to somebody else. But if there's a way that you can convey, you know, the, the, the over idea of, of being an expressive and creative person mm -hmm. and, and how you can sort of just em embrace what's already there, if I could be involved in that process and teaching somebody, I think that would be a, you know, a very rewarding thing to do. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your time for the interview and uh, enjoy New York this time and welcome to Beijing again. Thank you. I hope to see you there. Thanks. Thank you.